So we've got a semi-collision here on northbound I-5, just south of the West Seattle Freeway. Took place at about 426 was the first report we got this morning. Semi was traveling in lane two, or the almost slow lane on the right side of the freeway. At freeway speeds, the weather at that time of the morning was not good. It was raining rather heavily, so it was pretty misty and rainy, poor light conditions, low light as well. Um, the driver said that he tapped the brakes lightly and began to lose control and slide. And when that happened, the semi began going from the right side to the left side and collided with the cement barrier over here, the jersey barrier we call it. When it did that, it drove up on top of the barrier system and began kind of skateboard railing across the top of that thing, right? If you can envision that. And when it did that, it rolled toward the southbound lanes and it struck the dirt meeting on the other side of this barrier, dislodged its fuel tank, which is on the other side of the barrier now, lost about 80 gallons of fuel into the median, which fortunately doesn't have any storm drains, so it's contained into the grass. That's a good thing. And then even more fortunate, the trailer helped rocket back onto the correct side of the freeway and not into the southbound lanes where it would have been a head-on collisions. We all know how poorly head-on collisions with anything go, but particularly a semi and a passenger car, right? We don't want that ever. And we don't want any collisions, but particularly head-on. That's a bad day. The driver is extremely okay, so okay. He refused aid and is walking away unscathed without a single scratch on him. He's here talking and alert and just fine. If we've got a scene like this, they generally don't end as fortunate as we are here this morning. So yes, in that aspect, a good morning.